am excited today. We've got a big day ahead of us today. So if you've been following us for any length of time, you know that during the COVID time, we, uh, we had to pivot really hard. We, had, we were a seminar business, you know, in, in that particular business, all of my business had to pivot, but in Vestra Pro, which is our seminar business, we had to pivot hard. The governor shut down all, you know, uh, public gatherings and we were a business based on public gatherings. So we had nothing. So we had to figure out what to do. Well, about three months in, we decided to go full all in with virtual. About six weeks ago, I hired what's called an integrator. Her name is Katie. And we brought her on board and she's hired, I think eight new people on or ten, whatever it is, a lot of new people. I met a lot of them last week all on Zoom and they're from all over the country. They're from California, they're from Utah, they're from Chicago. And now I'm getting my old team members together with my new team members. And our company went from, it started with three people four years ago and pre-COVID was about 12 or 15 people. Now we're at like 24 or 25 people in our company that work for us and we're growing. So today we're about to have our first, what we call a town hall meeting and, um, you know, let them know uh, who we are, what our culture is and all that, and get everyone to start to meet each other. They don't know this yet, but they're gonna be put into some private breakout Zoom rooms so they can get to know each other. I'm looking forward to today to see how this all goes and see how the, the old people mesh with the new people and how we can all get together and build an amazing company together, all virtually, and uh, just keep finding out ways to deliver massive value to people. So that's what we're doing today. So here's the plan. We've invited 20, I think 25 or 26 people on our team now. Growing. Yeah, there's that. I know. I, I know, right? So we're gonna see them on the screen here, just like we do for a workshop. I'm gonna go through the history of our revenue. I'm gonna go through all the revenue that we did over the years, which is really cool. How we started in the hundreds of thousands, with the millions. It's kind of cool. So I'm gonna do all that. So we're riding a wave. We believe is gonna be a huge shift in our economy. We're gonna move with market as needed. We'll go down the hard, hard down the path of virtual and business building. It's my favorite part, though. It's been my dream to build a coaching and education company that can make a huge impact while not hurting the very people who are building it. Our culture. I'm gonna talk about what we say, like the words that we use. You know, when we ask what we do at Vestra Pro, we change lives, right? Yeah. So there's something like that. Fulfillment is super important to us and we need to make sure anybody coming on board understands that. So the word fulfillment came up many times and, I, and some of them left those other companies before they went out of business. I said, what, what was your main reason? They said, they said you, we, we cannot represent a company that doesn't give fulfillment. Mm -hmm. And I said, that makes, me, that makes me proud to hear that you're not just selling people something and then moving on. They wanted to make sure that they said, because our, our name's in the line too. We're starting in a minute. So you want to go upstairs and grab your spot on Zoom and then let's make them all feel welcome. Uh, well, hello everybody, my name's Jeff Miller. Um, I've been with Vestra Pro uh, since day number one. So my name is Gerald Martin. <clears throat> Beth and I were the second wave to come on board. So we've been here from pretty much the beginning. I've been with Vester Pro. It'll be two years in March. I am in Orange County, California. Um, recently hired, about two weeks. I have been with Vester Pro since October. I'm new, I'm a new hire. We've been with the company now, Vester Pro, for approximately, I think, 48 hours it's been. <laughs> Um, what do you what have you been doing? Let's get to work. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to be a part of uh, something like this where you can grow and really expand on and have that feel. That's like family feel. I really enjoy that. And I think that's going to go a long way. I got to tell you, this is a little bit overwhelming. I'm, I'm looking at this team knowing that it was Jeff and I and Amber just just a little over four years ago. When Jeff said he was the first one, he, he was. It, was. it was Amber and I and Jeff at the first event. I'm going to show you a picture of that in a minute. And I can tell you, from from my perspective, to look at where we start, I know I know Jeff's thinking the same thing. I know Amber's thinking the same thing. Wow, <laughs> just wow! You know, we're watching it grow, and it's been awesome. So we've got to have strong teamwork. We've got to be connected. So what I want to do is just take a few minutes and get you guys to get to know each other. So again, we are in a virtual setting. So what'll happen is we'll break up into rooms and there'll be, you know, whatever, four, four people, five people. We're gonna just do small rooms. We're gonna try and mix some of the old timers with the new timers. And when you guys go in there, um, here's here, just kind of reintroduce yourself again, just so that people know who you are. Go network. All right, so I just sent everybody off to their own private Zoom breakout room. So if you've not done that before, a Zoom breakout room means that through Zoom, through the magic of Zoom, we literally hit a button and it separates the group into like groups of three or four or five. And we tried to mix the old with the new, right? The old dogs at Vester Pro with the, all the new people to build that relationship. I hope it's a great thing. 
I really hope that they get to know each other and they hope they're laughing now. I hope they're making fun of me. I don't care. And I hope they're just really starting to bond and build those connections because in building a culture, you've got to build connections among your people. Well, I see everybody laughing. It's a good thing. Nobody getting mad yet. Cody Phelps said he wants to take over my job already as a designer. So, you know. Oh, boy. All right. Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's the one she loves. I said I'd like to assist. <laughs> <laughs> Put words in my mouth already. Well, cool. I well, hope you guys have fun doing that. And uh, I've, I've had the privilege of talking to every one of you guys and getting to know you. What you guys may or may not know is that building this company has been my dream. I did not know how it was going to come together. Gerald and I talked about it many years ago and over many beers and talking and we just lots of ideas and Jeff and I and how do we do this and how we do a couple of times a month and how do we do this so we don't hurt people so that's why we stayed such a part-time company for so long and now we're no longer a part-time company so now my dream is starting to become a reality and I see that answer clear as a bell so I will end it with this line welcome to my dream all right everybody have a good night Thanks, everybody Bye. have a great night all right see you guys, see you guys. thank you Bye. Take care, everyone all right Let's see what Amber thinks Well, really yeah. Yeah. I mean, as I was watching everybody's faces on the screen, it looked like people were into it. They liked the idea of the new show coming out. They liked the idea of the book. They loved, they loved all the stuff happening with you and I, and the fact that we can spend more time with that now that we have Katie on board. It was a little short. Like it could have been a little longer. And yeah. as we do more of these, yeah. we should probably incorporate them even more than us. Well, I'm glad. I think it went well today. So that was, yeah. that was good. That was something new for me doing a doing a town hall meeting just over Zoom. But I think it did good. We'll do it every month with the team. Every month we should do it, don't you think? Yeah, exactly. And then we'll just make sure that, that like you said, have Even them. Like a cocktail hour or some game we play or something just to make it really interactive. So there you go. Another day in the life of Glenn and Amber Schwarm.